Coming up next here on Good Morning Arkansas, Marianne Campbell and Money Magic will be joining us here to tell us about some of the new uh, rules the Credit Card Act of 2009. Stay with us. Well, you may have heard the Obama administration has started a crackdown on credit card companies. It's all aimed at protecting you, but you need to know how to protect yourself. And so Marianne Campbell is in from Money Magic to help us out with that. Hello. Good to see you again. Good to see you, Melinda. Welcome. Thank you. New grandmother, you just yes, told us. Yes, our Aww. little walker. Aww. He's a lot of fun. That's Four wonderful. months old. Well, let's talk about credit card Good. companies and what's going on right now. This all went into effect yesterday, right? It did. Okay. Well, two phases of it, okay. uh, two big rules. It gives us more time to pay, and it gives you more notice when the rates go up. Okay. So let's break that down. First of all, on the time to pay. Used to, you would only get uh, uh, four, 14 days mm -hmm. that before you would pay. Uh, the, the bill is due. Now you get 21 days. Okay. So that's a big help. A lot of people, it's just too short of a period to get your bill in. So the bill comes to your house sooner. Right. Before it's due. And, yeah. and so that's a good thing. And then the second part is that you have more notice if the rates are going to go up. Mm -hmm. Before, your notice was only 15 days. Now they have to give you six weeks, 45 days to let you know that the notices are going to go up. Yeah, I mean, because in 15 days, that was hard to do anything about your balance. Right. Right. Now, that's the good news. Okay. This is a double-edged sword. Mm -hmm. It really leans toward the consumer, but the other part is that the bank saw, I mean, you need to understand that this has been a profit center for the banks, credit card, and profit centers provide jobs. Mm -hmm. And they're looking at how do we keep these jobs because right now we have high unemployment so there's a lot of default on credit cards. Right. So they're increasing rates on all of us. Now you have an option here. You can not pay the increased rate. You can decline out of it but you have to cancel the card. You have to pay that card off at that lower rate and if you choose to do that, which I really think is a good idea, mm -hmm. go to your local bank and open up a separate credit card as you pay off the one with the lower interest. Okay. Okay. So, so that's an option. Okay. So they contact you. Say we're going from 11 percent to 13 percent. People are already getting those letters. Right. They're already yeah. receiving those letters because they're going to go up on all of us. Right. So while there's more time and more notice, there's more expense and less access to credit. Okay. So they're cutting off our lines of credits. They're cutting them da back. And so you're going to have to be more responsible. Now, the name of this act is called the Credit Card, uh, and they, they capitalize C-A-R-D, which mm -hmm. stands for Accountability, Responsibility, and Disclosure. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to get more information. When you get your statement, you will have so much more information. Right. But the trick is to read that statement. Right. Because you, you need to understand what it is. So this is phase one. I got one and it was like five pages and I had to go all the way to the back to find you, the interest rate, you know, because I knew that was going to be there eventually yes. and it was all the way in the yes. back. Yeah. Now, the new phase in is in February. February 22nd, you'll okay. have the second round of, of rule changes. Now, let me tell you how important these rule changes are. When the Federal Reserve put out this uh, call to action, they got over 65 thousand public comments because people were begging the Fed to do something. Mm -hmm. There have been egregious uh, practices by the right. banks. So this, this is really a good thing. It's going to be very helpful. But when it comes in February, then we will have even more, and it's going to affect our college students. I teach at UCA. I have mm -hmm. wonderful students, but I see many of my students in credit card debt, right. and they're in pain, and they're young, and they don't understand it. They didn't understand it when they got it. So when that comes along, uh, there is going to be more restrictions. You can't really get it unless you have 20%. Uh, you have to prove that you can afford a credit card. This is for 21 and under? 21 and under. Okay. Yes, so that's coming in February. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot more things that will come on your card and disclosures. And in February, they will tell you, all right, if you only pay the minimum on your credit card, exactly how long it will take you to pay it off. Oh, okay. We've never had that before. Yeah. So if you read the statement, you'll know. You'll be in the know. This is really going to be helpful to consumers. And it's putting more responsibility back on us where we needed to do it anyway. And to parents, parents need to, they'll have to co-sign for a young person under 21 mm -hmm. if the person doesn't have the means to pay off the card. That's all good, I think. It that is. part of it, it is you know, very I, good. I think there's a lot of good things about this bill. It just means that we have to 
do the right thing. Yeah. We want to mention the credit score because that is still important. It was before and it's going to be even more Thank so. You. And so the three things that you do for your credit score, always pay on time. And a good way to do that is have an automatic draft out of your bank account mm -hmm. so that it pays the minimum and then you can send in a check for the extra so that you're never, ever late. And then pay down your balances as much as you can because it is going to be more expensive for all of us. And then read those statements. The disclosures will be there, right. but it's not going to help if you don't read it. Yeah, now more than ever you need to read the statements. Right. If you do say, no, I'm not going to accept this higher rate, I'm going to pay it off. You've got, what, five years to do that? Right. To pay off right. your balance at the lower at rate. At the lower rate. Thank right. you. And so, so you want to go ahead and, and attack that and do that because uh, it just it puts so much pressure on people. It changes their, their lifestyle, their personality, everything. Right. And we're seeing higher suicide among college students over credit card oh, debt. Goodness. So, it, you know, it's, yeah. it's something that I'm so happy to see this new law. It, it's, it's got good balance, I think. Yeah. Good, and good then intent. if you have complaints, you can contact your uh, Treasury Department. There is a, a telephone number, 800 number, and that's the comptroller of the currency. There you go. And also, uh, Marianne mentioned her classes. She's got a lot of great information, Money Magic Inc., and you can reach her as well at uh, the number on your screen, 227-6644, if you need help with your money and you need a little magic, too. Thank, Thank you, you Marianne. So good to see you. It's good to be back with you. Thank Lots you of so good much. advice. We appreciate it.